Last week, Minecraft version 1.17.1 released, and though this release wasn't huge, it did seek to correct a couple of major issues. And what I wanted to do in today's video is determine whether or not the change that was done to diamond ore distribution did any sort of changes to the caves uh, between versions of uh, 1.17 and 1.17.1. And the easiest way to do that for me was to create two versions of the same world, but in both versions of the game, and run a couple of tests just to be sure. I also was curious to see if any changes were made to the Caves and Cliffs data pack that is provided that provides the extended uh, world height and depth. So we'll be showcasing a little bit of that here as well. So the first clip that I have showing here is the caves in the same seed, but on the two different versions of the game and on 1.17 and 1.17.1. And I did recreate the world for these two tests just using the same seed. I will have the seed that I used for both tests in the description of today's video if you want to go around and check this yourself. And as you can see, as we were rising in and out of here, there are no changes to the cave structure themselves. And that is something that's uh, not overly unexpected, but it was, was a question that I wanted to have answered. So you have the 1.17 example on the left, and you will have the 1.17.1 example on the right. And just for consistency's sake, we will go ahead and have a look at the version of the world with the data pack applied to it. Again, I did draft up a completely different world, but I have the same seed utilized in both versions here for the testing and comparison purposes. And right off the bat, uh, you'll notice that there aren't any changes at all to the data pack itself. Now I haven't looked to see if a new data pack has been provided since the second pre-release, I believe is what it was, of 1.17, and that does continue to work for underground generation. If you're wanting to do a little bit more experimentation on your own, I'll leave a link that will lead you to that data pack download uh, from Mojang's official website in the description of today's video as well, because I've had a lot of fun playing around with the data pack as it vastly alters the caving experience uh, that you can have and everyone is used to at this point playing a lot of Minecraft. So now that we've determined that there aren't any changes to the layout of the caves, we do need to answer the question of uh, diamond ore distribution. So as you'll see here, I'm digging a fairly standard tunnel just to get to where I'm at. And I am digging both sets of these tunnels at the traditional Y11 depth, which has been the generally recognized and accepted best location to find diamonds. And as you will see, the 1.17.1 does have that uh, or in about the same area that you would expect to find it. And this must have just been different on this trial specifically. I didn't do any further research because I didn't want to be creating a thousand different worlds to see if this was the case. But as you can see, the diamond ore is still there in the 1.17 version versus the 1.17.1 version, uh, but it is in a different location. And another thing that you'll notice on here is as I'm digging this tunnel on the right side of the cave, there is a spot of iron or a vein of iron that is located there that is consistent between the two versions. So really the only change that happened with this update and a couple of bug fixes was specifically uh, concerning the placement of the diamonds in the world height as to where you can locate and find it. And no other tweaks or adjustments were made to any of the other ore variants as far as uh, what I can tell. So there shouldn't be any points of concern with that. And just to further confirm what we discussed with no change having happened to the data pack itself, as you can see, there is the exact same spot of diamond in the exact same location in both versions 1.17 and 1.17.1. Uh, so that was a little bit of research that I wanted to do as well because there are certain benefits in a 1.17 world that I've been playing on that I would like to take advantage of that were added in 1.17.1, uh, specifically adjustments to the axolotls and powdered snow. So now that I know that no changes will be made to the underworld generation as long as 
the caves stay there. I do anticipate adding that to my world as I get to the point where I would need the benefits of those features more specifically. But that was a brief little look at how everything works there. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for daily variety content. It's not all Minecraft stuff, but I do hope that you'll find something else that you like around here from the many different games that I cover. Thanks again for your time, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.